Could you guys play a game for a month and then restart? Hi, my name is Lace and today we've got another Princess Connect video. For you guys who've been around for a while, stick around because it might still be relevant. It's something I'm thinking about as well and I've been playing since pre-release. So as you all may know by now, the release date is pretty much locked in. If we have a look at this tweet from the official account, you can see only five days to go until we meet my lord. My lord? Today is the 15th, so that's about the 20th release. With that being said, they've also released their global launch celebration rewards. So we've got a bunch of these guys and a bunch of these guys. The, the bottom ones, they don't mean too much, right? We already have this stuff on soft launch. So don't worry guys, we've played a while. We've already got this stuff. So guaranteed three star on first pull. It's just after tutorial, you get a guaranteed three star. <coughs> Makoto. Three star rate up. So actually originally when JP launched, it was 2.0%, but now it's 2.5% and daily login rewards, which is exactly what it sounds like. But let's focus on the global launch celebration rewards. So 1K, 2.1K jewels, that's about 20 rolls. Let's put it like that, right? What does this mean though? What this means, boys and girls, is that there is potentially 30 rolls that you could be doing if you're re-rolling, combined with the 10 extra rolls from Crunchyroll linking. So really, what does it mean? Let's get into it. If you're like me and you've been playing since pre-release, you're probably going to be pretty attached to your account. I'm here to tell you that RNG can still screw you over. There are very few things that could happen that could make someone like me re-roll, but there are definitely things that could happen that would make me re-roll. So let me start with pre-release game. First, you have to make a decision. Are you going to be spending a lot of money? Are you not? If you have a gambling addiction, stay the hell away from this. After you've made that decision, if you're intending on spending a lot of money, then freaking just click out of this video. So now we have all the low spenders or free to players. The next decision you have to make is whether you're going to be going for clan battles or for arena. If you're focused focusing on arena then you're pretty safe for now if you're focusing on neither and you're in it for the waifus more power to you my brother however if you are focused on clan battles then let's talk we are in a unique position here you're probably going to have a whole bunch of gems saved up if you have a look at mine i have 30 almost 38k gems now that it's release time for a lot of people it's time to roll jun if you're really serious about cb and you want to be competitive from the start you, you got to roll for jun you already know this but she's going to be relevant for a very long time she's never going to stop being relevant maybe less relevant but not irrelevant key reason being she's a solid tank with defense down defense down makes you do more damage and the key metric in clan battles is damage i said this like a thousand times i'm not going to elaborate you can watch one of my other videos if you need more information so we've decided that you're going to roll for jun let's start with the spark system if you roll 300 times you get her for sure however what if you roll all 300 and then you do get jun thanks to the spark but in those 300 rolls you also get trash Let's talk about that in a minute. For three stars, you have a rate of 2.5% to hit. If it really takes 300 rolls to roll for Jun, then first and foremost, I cry for you. I know exactly how that feels. It happened to me in Ark Knights and I actually almost quit because of that. If you want to check out my suffering, I've got it all recorded somewhere. Second of all, let's have a look at the three star rates and the yield, right? So 2.5% of 300 is about 7.5. Let's say eight. Be a little bit lucky, you know, a little bit lucky. If you're unlucky enough to have to roll 300 times for Jun and you're unlucky enough to have less than and eight three stars, I would consider re-rolling because you could just re-roll for Makoto and Jun. Now, that would be a great start, right? Because you'll be relevant for a very, very long time. A lot of the top tier clans are going to be require both of them. If Jun was Muimi, who is my favorite character in the game, that's what I would do. If it took me 300 rolls to roll Muimi, I'd be devastated and I'll probably re-roll, to be honest. And then I would curse that account like crazy. And also your second playthrough is going to be better than your first, right? Because you know a lot more, you know exactly what to do and what to focus on. I'm going to be dropping another video for you newbie guys so that you guys know what to prioritize. Obviously, you do need to evaluate those eight or less three stars that you do get like if you were able to pull the mage melt comp so i'm talking like anna and hatsune you sh maybe could consider it but if you pulled like eight ninons and don't get me wrong ninon is great which results in a bunch of dupes which is also great you know like that will help you later on because of all of the divine amulets but your early game is just going to be pretty weak but again i'd still be <laughs> quite sad Let let's talk about the rationale for resetting it's been like what maybe about three weeks since soft launch most of the gems that we have are actually from one-time clears so i'm talking like arena princess arena story clear Clears. That means that we aren't actually missing out that much if we do restart. So if you've been hovering around like my kind of level for Arena and Princess Arena, then you're going to be getting like 40 gems a day, which is a third of a pull. Just really like, it's okay. It's not that much, right? But if it's going to cost you 300 rolls to get Jun and that batch of 300 excluding Jun is also trash, then I would start again. The downside to this, however, is that you do need to catch up a little bit. For Arena and Princess Arena, for the most part, you should be fine. You'll, you'll most likely be put into a new bracket, so you'll have fair competition. But for CB, however, you're going to have less levels and even less power. That's going to make a lot of clans refuse you in the beginning. So I'm not saying that you should reroll if you roll like 300 times and you just get like a bunch of trash plus Jun. I'm just saying that you could consider it and you wouldn't be too far behind. Imagine playing this game for six months and oh no, you're three months behind. Like there's going to be a limit that everyone is going to hit. There are going to be those 1.5 or two times events that everyone is going to find 
um, so that you can catch up. And really what it comes down to is it's a mental thing. Like I said, I know how it feels to drop like 300 rolls onto a character and at a relatively decent rate as well for it all to just kind of go down the drain, right? It feels, it feels bad the head especially from a free to player or a low spenders perspective so would you want an account with two characters that you want with a whole bunch of gems with little to no progression but knowing that you can catch up eventually or would you rather have two of the characters that you want but no gems but you are a little bit further ahead and whilst also knowing that you got unlucky right like i said it's a lot about the mental it just hurts the heart man the head and the heart to be honest because remember guys this is gambling. It's just acute gambling. And if you're watching this and you're not a player yet, just remember this because it could be applicable to you, especially for limited units. With all this being said, you do need to keep in mind that we will be getting a lot of three stars. There will be future opportunities to get them. Like in one of the first events, we'll be able to farm Hatsune and so on and so forth. But really, this is for the really competitive crowd who are like trying to optimize, who really want to like make the most out of their gem. In summary, you don't lose too much from restarting. So it's okay if RNG decides it wants to screw you over. So let's move on to the new people. If you're watching this before release and you haven't started yet, I would probably actually consider waiting until launch to restart. To start, I mean, sorry. This is because you're going to be having an easier time to reroll than us. Right now, it's a minor pain in the ass because of a bunch of downloads and stuff, but I'm sure after launch, it will be pretty good. Also coupled with the fact that we only get 10 rolls and you guys are going to get maybe up to 30, you'll probably spend a lot less time rerolling if you do it at launch. On top of that, you can also reroll for Makoto and Jun for a really excellent start. You could also play roll for Makoto and then see how you go on launch. But with only five days to go, I'd rather like start the game with a peace of mind that I've got a good start, right? And a whole bunch of gems in the bank. If it was a month before release, eh, I wouldn't be able to contain my assignment and just jump in. Guys, that brings me to the end of the video. Here's the secret message. Always reroll, never settle. I would really appreciate it if you dropped the secret message down in the comments below. It just gives me a peace of mind that people are actually watching my content, right? Because you made it through the end. Thank you. So with that being said, subscribe, like, follow, pin and whatever or also ask any questions that you might have also if you have an opinion on this let me know what you think in the scenario you do get screwed over by those 300 rolls would you restart i've kind of laid out the facts now i want to know what you would do with that being said i'm going to stop rambling thank you guys so much for watching i will catch you guys in the next video Bye bye